Good morning year one and two. So today we're going to think about writing a postcard from the place that you ended up flying to with Zog. So you remember yesterday you ended up flying somewhere with Zog and now we're going to write a postcard from that place. So I ended up flying to the beach so I'm going to write my postcard from there. Before then though I've got to think of some things I need to remember in my writing. So because I'm at the beach, just like yesterday, we need to have the first person. So I'm going to use words like I and we from talking about me and Zog. Okay, because it's a present tense, we are there, I'm going to use am and are. Although in this writing, you might have some past tense as well, because you might write about things that you have already been doing together, as well as things that you are doing together. And I'm going to be needing to remember my full stops, capital letters for names and starts of sentences, finger spaces, and my ni nice, neat handwriting of my non-negotiables. So to start my postcard off, I've decided to write my postcard to Mr. Lumber. So I've done one side where I've done some nice lines ready for my writing. And on the other side of my paper, I've written Mr. Lumber's address at school. You can write yours to anyone. It could be to granny and granddad. It could be to one of your friends. It can be even be to me, be anybody you like. You can even make up an address that's a dragon address. So I've got his name to begin with and then the address of where it is. So Kingsley Primary School, the road it's on, where it is, it's in Bournemouth. And I even found the postcard. I'm actually going to add to this England because who knows where me and Zog end up actually flying to and where our beach is. So I'm going to start my postcard with Dear Mr. Lumber. Okay, because postcards can be quite informal if you're writing them to a friend or a family member, I might just write, Hi, Dad, or if I was writing it to a friend called Peter, I might say, Hi, Peter, or Hi, Peter, that's how I call him. But I'm going to say, Dear Mr. Lumber. I hope, because I'm going to write something nice to him first, because it's we always nice to write something nice to someone first. So I hope you are. Well, and now I'm going to tell all about mine and Zog's adventures. So, Zog and I are at the beach. We are having a wonderful time paddle boarding because I do love paddle boarding and what else let me do <gasps> swimming swimming in the sea what else might we do? We are also enjoying, I like digging holes at the beach. I'm going to say digging holes and making sandcastles. I hope you are having fun too. That's a nice thing to end with, isn't it? I hope you are having fun too. And then I'm going to sign up with my name, which I'm obviously going to use Miss Pollard. But if my name was Katie, I would just sign my name as Katie because if it was someone that was my friend that I was writing it to or one of my family. Let's just check my work. It's always important to check your work. Dear Mr. Lumber, I hope you are well. Zog and I are at the beach. We are having a wonderful time paddle boarding and swimming in the sea. We are also enjoying digging holes and making sandcastles. I hope you are having fun too, Miss Pollard. So I address the person that I'm writing it to. I have remembered my name. I remembered to check my capital letters and full stops for my names and the starts of sentences. Always a capital I by itself. 
and I've got my first person. Now, to make your postcard really, really fun, you might also, like me, want to turn it into a real postcard and do a picture of yourself and Zog at your chosen place having fun together. So in my picture, Zog and I are both paddle boarding in the sea. I'm really looking forward to finding out what you and Zog get up to in your postcards. Bye for now.